Sigma. Sigma. Sigma is gonna feed the beast today. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna feed the beast. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna feed the beast. Feed the beast. Feed the beast. Welcome back to another Feed the Beast. As always, it's me, Sigma. Today, I'm going to be setting up a tree farm. And if there's time, I'm going to try and automate it. And the purposes of that is to kind of tie into what we did last time with the tesseracts and the tanks. And I'll show you what I've done there with those as well. So, first things first. I need to make a couple more tesseracts because this liquid tesseract isn't going to be well. It's, it's useful. It's just not going to be useful for what I need right now. So I have the hardened glass. I need to get ten. Sixteen should should be enough. Ten and I compressed a bunch of diamonds. Ta-da! There. there. Um, also, before I forget, so we have quite a few diamonds. Diamonds are not an issue right now, and they are non-issue, but I can foresee them vanishing rather quickly. So we have our tin, we have our diamonds, we have our hardened glass. So now let's make a couple tesseracts. I want to grab five diamonds. That didn't make a lot of sense, did it? That's okay. And I'll go down and show you um, the quarries all done. So, now I was able to figure the input output thing on this guy. What's this guy doing? Oh, I could turn him off. Um, I had to set my machines back up again because I need them and I can't quite get set up the way I want on the other side. So, this is our magma crucible. Here's our liquid transposer. I've got the molten um, ender eyes and each one gives me 250. So this is 16. That was a full stack. And that should juice these guys up and should give me four empty frames. So, while those are juicing up, I'm going to take you down and show you the quarry. The quarry is all done. It's despawned, and I've covered it up. Made it look kind of like almost new. And this is where I'm going to set up the tree farm. I'm going to set the tree farm up on top. That's because underneath here, I've set up a big open, kind of like a, a warehouse. Um, my dad runs up an agriculture plant. Well, I, I, he doesn't run it now. He's He still runs it. He just doesn't... Um, no? Yeah. He still runs it. He still does all of the fun and non-fun stuff. I moved my oil down here, but I was saying it kind of reminds me of a lot of the big open empty warehouses they have in their shed where they've got like forklift rows of rows of stuff. And this took forever and a day to build, and I wish I would have figured out how to use turtles because turtling having this room turtle would have been perfect I had to mine up a lot of that so I moved my uh, oil in here so basically the tree farm is going to be up there and we're going to process it all into biomass and then into biofuel and we're going to try and do some biofuel stuff I need to find a better way to get in and out of here because this one is not working there we go so let's get back up there, grab those tesseracts. And the reason I needed the tesseract is because I'm going to not move the quarry uh, the way I have it set up down there. I'm going to leave that machine there and just keep pumping it and use uh, an energy tesseract to transfer power. And there we go, we got our four tesseracts. Oh, they look weird in my hand. It looks like an empty frame. doesn't look like it's filled. Um, so now we need to attune two of them. And let's see. Use. Come on, use. This is very, very slow. I'm going to drink some water. There we go. So energy, we need electrium, 
silver and lead with a redstone conductive coil. So I need four, four electrum ingots, eight silver and eight lead. I've got lead. No. In here. Let me do this real quick before I forget. Um. There, there. So I made three ender chests, and they're yellow, black, yellow, like bees, and they're all at where all the bee stuff is. So I don't have to carry all that b stuff when I'm flying back and forth and trying to move around. So we need eight. This was for the hardened glass. Um, eight of those. I think there's some silver bars that are smelted. Nope. Okay, so I need six more. So I need three silver. Is he still kicking? Good, 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 good. This will be quick. And then we need electrium. Is there some in here? Yep. One, two, one, two, one, two. Oh. I don't know what that is, but we don't want that up there. Salt here. Yep. And let's put this diamond away for now. I don't want to walk around with the diamond. I'll lose it. Um, now we need... Two. I think I just need two. Yep, just two. Alright, is my silver smelted yet? Oh, we can't smell there's stuff in there. And let's let's just expedite this process a little bit, because you're going a little too slow for my liking there. There we go. Grab these other two while those are going. Boom. Alright. Let's attune these bad boys up for energy. And, oh no, I need eight. Or four. There we go. So, I only need, I need four of these and four of these, that's right. Yep, there we go. So, it goes like this. I may only need four. I guess I only need four. I, my math is way off. Maybe I'm just tired. Or maybe I was thinking I was making eight of them. Oh. Hmm. Alright, what I do wrong? Do these need to be switched? Yeah, there we go. Energy Tesseracts. Boom. So. Let's put these other ones in here for now. Unattuned. So. I need that wire. Do I have that wire? Where's she at? Here she is. Ender pouch. Boom. Perfect. So, let's come in here. And... I don't need that wire there anymore. But I don't want to mess with that just yet. Um, so... that energy tesseract like so and we'll go on frequency for these we'll do frequency two and this we're gonna call it um pump house power okay and this guy is going to send only So, okay, that all still works. Good, good. So while I'm here, I'll show you the loot that we got. Um, ooh, red garnet. I don't even remember seeing that. Red garnet. Where'd that come from? Weird. Um, I actually had eight stacks of obsidian. I used some of them for diamonds, and I used some of them to smash up to make this hardened glass. Uh, almost three stacks of iron. Um, ooh, that was a weird noise. Uh, almost a stack of copper, a little bit of gold, some tin, some galena, some silver, aluminum, 
a little bit of ferrous, cinnabar, tungsten, monazit, um, a good amount of coal, a lot of cobble, uh, some more cobble, a lot of dirt, <laughs> and nine diamonds. There were nine diamonds in that chunk, and the one iridium. The iridium is way better than those nine diamonds, but there were nine diamonds in that little chunk that I dug up, which is remarkable, because that pretty much almost, uh, uh, including this, these two things pretty much paid for all this, you know. Um, so, now, let's logger it up. Ar Arbitorium? Arbor Arbordium. We're going to plop him. Okay, that one's there. So, let's put him right there. I wonder if I could put this underneath. If that will work. And now, let's do it on frequency 2, pump house. Oh. And we just want him to receive. So. Sand, that's the hummus, and those are for the saplings. So the saplings are like there. Let's go power this bad boy on. And hopefully that this should work. In theory, this should work. Now I can... Now bad things can actually walk up here and attack me. So I'm going to have to fix this little setup. Um, oh yeah. So in order to make that go, we need hummus. And... That is... Ooh, I don't like those zombie noises. That's made with appetite. Now I need to go grab the appetite before we start this project. Appetite, 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 appetite. So the bees have been going. I've been not getting what I wanted. I still can't get that one to to cross pollinate stuff, um, which is actually on the f well two full stacks of that. I can't get them to, to breed the right way, so I'm gonna have to use a different setup or maybe try a different different method. Gooses works for the single one, but I can't get it to work for the other one. You back up, buddy. I don't know how you spawned on here. Ooh, I'm about to... Whoa. There we go. Um, yeah, I don't know how he... I need to set it up better because it's not working. Just dump that in here. I need to go through and organize all this stuff. I'm just being really lazy. Okay, so these are pumping. That's getting energy. Now we need hummus, which I believe is sand. Appetite sand. Oh, that gives me a lot of fertilizer. That's probably more fertilizer than I'll ever need. And then let's take this dirt now. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, man. I have too much dirt. I have too much appetite, too, apparently. For some reason, I thought it only made one that made eight. So, this is a good, good way to ditch all of our dirt. This hummus is like a super, super nutrient-rich soil. So, hopefully this only makes one, because if it makes more than one, I'm going to be in a lot of trouble. This is what happens when you save everything and then you start using it. Oh, it makes eight. Look at that. Oh, gosh. Oh, good. Had enough room. Well, I'm probably never going to have to make hummus again. So, let's load this with hummus. And this... Oh. Now this thing should go. I think. That thing's sending energy. But is it not getting it? I don't know. So it says it's receiving. It's on pump house power. I don't honestly know how this thing works. I might actually have to give it a wire and an engine. Oh, maybe that was it. Okay, now it should be, maybe it's sending. 
Yep, there we go. Now it's working. You can see it's setting this thing up on its own. Oh! The sheep got stuck. Don't die, sheep. Don't die. Look at that. Now it should plant. Sheep, you are... You are... In the wrong... Wrong area, my friend. Let me just... Go over there for now. So why is it not planting? Plant! Maybe they're not the right kind of trees? I don't know. Maybe I need the other kind of trees. Well, let me go see if it's the wrong trees. Let me go see if I can... I know there's some, uh, what's called trees over this way, the oak. Because I convert all those for these trees. Actually, while we let that do its thing, let's go see if we got any new trees with our breeding. There, yeah, I do have grafters. Good. Yeah, I was looking to see if I couldn't remember the recipe. I was like, oh, I need grafters. So let's see how these are going. Because I thought I saw. Yeah. So the oak is the one I want to transform the most. I'm gonna see some like crazy oak stuff, but that is definitely a different color. That one's definitely a different color. Um, there's one right there. And oh, there we go. That's a good. That's the one I want to see right there. All right, fingers crossed. What's that? Mundane larch. Darn. It is a weird new tree, but not the kind I want. So these look like different colors, but I think that's because that's the oak tree. Yeah, it is. Alright, so mon somehow mundane larch got out of that tree. Weird. Nope, still has a birch. We want birch. We want some good. Oh, here's another one. Then their mundane larch. Silver birch. Ooh, there's a funky one right there. Yep, just another mundane larch. Why can't I pick it up? Oh, I'm full. So three mundane larches. Hmm. I wonder if the, the tree thing doesn't work with these new trees or something. But it is forestry. Ah, oh, I forgot that was the last use and it just broke. Balls. Ball sweat. Well, that's going to be a mundane march. That's not going to be anything cool. It shouldn't be, at least. Let's check the other side and, see, and hopefully the... I'm going to get poisoned. Oh, nope, didn't. Good, good. Oh, I see a couple. Let's take him. Put another Monday in March. Let's put these in this chest for now. So, Monday in March is... Oh, and I got poisoned balls. Ooh, I'm low on health. I might die. Nope, I don't think it can kill you. Alright, let's see if I have food. I don't have food. Let's go get food. <sighs> Man. Well, I'll be right back. Okay, so I got some saplings, and I've been checking, I was checking my bees, so I might as well show you what I've been doing. Ooh, nice. Um, let's dump all 
dump all this combs in here to make room. And so I somehow got some ancient bees, which I don't really want. Um, let me clear out some room in my inventory for a second uh, with this hummus. And I got a couple oak saplings that are not identified, so they should work. So we got majestic. Ooh, a noble. Majestic, noble, noble. Another diligent. She gets sent down to uh, the rocky diligent section. There's no one in there. Ooh. Imperial. Oh, these are the ones I was trying to get. Oh. Oh, yes. Oh, success. Success. That is the, that's the, the end of this thing. Oh, so which one was it that I just took off? I'm gonna have to analyze, analyze these bees, because I want to make sure to get the, um, that those breed and, and keep producing those same ones. Nothing in there. See, look, another ancient. Dang it, I don't, I don't want ancient. Common, cultivated, 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 cultivated. Oh, oh, oh. Nothing in there. Okay, so. Is my, my beelizer's probably my, my bait. Yeah, it is. Alright, let me get that. Okay, so let's analyze some bees. So. Let's check her out. So, active Imperial and active Noble affect Beatific. Flowers, slowest. Eight generations in captivity. Very, very cool. What kind of bee is that? That, oh, that's this one. It's just not glowing on there. So, let's see him. Imperial is his active one. So we might be breeding those two together to keep them keep them going. Majestic Diligent. Majestic Noble. Majestic Noble. Majestic Noble. Noble Noble. Noble Noble. Noble Noble. <laughs> noble Noble. Noble Noble. How much wanna bet this one's Noble Noble? Boom. Noble Noble. Okay, well so the only ones that have those traits are these two. I'm tempted to You know what? Let's give it a shot, you know? These won't be the first ones that I get. Oh, I have her too. Um, let's analyze her real quick. Majestic Noble. Who has the best... Okay, so let's... I think her... Her inactive is... Four. He's a good three by three. Um, I want the majestic so three, three by three. Okay. So let's see how this works. This might be a complete boo boo, but we're gonna give it a shot and see what happens. Or there, there's not uh, frames in that one. Of course, they don't have frames. All right, we'll just steal them. We'll steal them out of this one. Well, of course, they're three in that one. Okay, let's frame her up and. 
cook these bad boys back up. Noble Majestic. Okay. He's empty. Cultivated Noble. Common Cultivated. Stupid ancient princess, I don't want you. Oh. You know what? Let's just do it to do it. Let's see what happens. Okay. So let's plop all these guys in there. Sorry, bees. Bees is over. Got one royal jelly. Okay. And put that bee laser in there so I remember to take it and use it when it. <sighs> Finally, back on back on pace. And I see this thing I think it needs normal saplings. I don't think it works with the uh, hybrid ones. But maybe it does. Let's see. Oh, yep. There we go. So oak saplings are planted, and now they should grow. It's not going to happen instantaneously, but it'll grow. Now, I need to set up the logger. And I'm not actually sure how. So go like that. I need to find out what his deal is. So we're going to see if those grow. And I'm going to tab and cut recording and see if they grow. Okay, so a tree grew. So this thing should chop it up now. It looks like it consumes the peat when it grows. Uh, let's make sure everything's operating. It might not be able to receive power from the side. Cut it up, dude. Why aren't you operating? That's the thing about these machines is you can't tell if they're running or not. Does it need an engine? Maybe it can't power off just this thing, off this wire. It might need an engine. Do I have any engines on me? I don't. Well, this thing can. I wonder what his deal is. Well, the tree grows, so we know this thing's working. The logger, on the other hand, is not. Hmm. Hmm. This thing should be cutting. Cut down, damn it! Look, now you got two trees. You better start doing your your job, tree guy. Look, look, there's trees. Cut them. Go. I implore you. Why isn't it chopping? Let's cycle the power real quick. Maybe it's too far away. I might need to give him his own tesseract. All right, let's power that off. Okay, so they're dead now. Those guys aren't getting any power for the time being. Alright, chop! We have to give him another Tesseract. Hmm. He, I mean, he needs his own juice. What if I do this? Um, got my pick. Let's do this. Oh, sorry, pipes. At least take a lot of juice to knock out. There might be a better tool. But for now, we're going to do this. Boop. I'm afraid that they're going to break and I'm not going to get it back. <laughs> okay, so let's go... Uh, I guess I don't need to put that on the bottom, huh? Oops. Okay. So let's throw uh, the Tesseract. 
there. Oh. No, no, no. There you go. And pump house power engaged. And we just want you to re receive power, buddy. And let's put it at a high signal. No, let's just put it at the, at the normal. All right, or low. Okay, are you working now? Work. This thing still turn on, right? <laughs> yep, green means it's on. Well, we know it was sending power because it it set all those guys up. I wonder if it's not enough. Um, what's it called? All right. So with a little research, and I apologize because thermal expansion is not my forte. Greg Tech and IC2 Industrial Craft 2. I know that stuff. Like, you know, what's up? Like, I understand Greg Tech. Uh, up to a certain point, and I do not really ex understand thermal expansion yet. It's not a mod that I've been playing around with. So, in order for me to power that guy, I can't use <laughs> these pipes and so on and so forth. It actually requires... I think it's going to need its own, either its own tesseract, or actually might need an engine of its own. An engine of its own. Um, I have the Tesseracts in here. So, let's make another energy Tesseract. And let's see if I can remember it without looking it up. I think I actually have the stuff, or did I dump it in one of these containers? I think I dumped it in the container. Poot. Okay, well, so I need two of these. And where's my silver and lead? Oh, see, I lost them. I lost them. I don't remember where I put them. Ah! I might have to make some more. Oh, goodness gracious. Gracious, oh, goodness. What did I do with them? Where, would, where did I dump them? Did I dump them the bees? No, I didn't dump them with the bees. All right, if you were, if you were trying to just dump some stuff off, where would you have dumped it off? Sigma. Well, there's the lead. I need two of those. Oh, I'm about to sneeze. Whoa, that was a big sneeze. Whew! I feel good. Um, there's the lead. So I need some silver. This is so unprofessional, I know. So unprepared. Oh, there's the lead. So is the silver in here, too? No, it's not. Of course, of course it's not in there. Why would you put it in the same thing? Oh, goodness. Good. Oh, I don't want that engine there. I am all messed up today. Uh, I don't see it in here either. Balls. Okay, well, let's just make some silver. I got plenty of it. I don't know why I keep wasting all this time dilly-dallying around. I only need two. Okay. So let's chop him up and lower clockers are in here. Let's move those to here. Expedite this process. There you go. One, two, skip a few and cook those bad boys up. And while that's going on, grab our what the Oh, whoops. Smooth move, x -lax. There we go. Oh, whoa, whoa, another act. Calm down. Alright, alright. What is this over here for? In the wrong. You are in the wrong spot, my friend. So, we need a redstone, or a... Whatever this thing is right here. Yeah, that one, redstone conductive coil. Like so. Our unattuned test rack, like so. Electrium ingot like so, lead like so, and then 
our lovely silver ingots who are finally decided to join the party after much debate. Boom. Now, you guys might think like, oh, you know, he just made that like, I don't know, what was that, 15 minutes ago? But you don't realize that last, when, when I got all this thing set up, I was like, you know what, this is making my brain hurt and it is late, so I'm going to go to bed. So I went to bed and woke up and then started recording again. So that's what happened. I admit it. Alright, so let's fix this guy up again. And if this doesn't work, oh my goodness, I am going to be a very sad panda. Actually, I'm a, I'm, I'm a polar bear. Um, that, that was what they... I'm not a panda, I'm a polar bear. Send, we want it to receive. Alright, no, we want, we want that one. Yes. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so she should be cooking now. Now, our, now we need you to cook. Uh, logs come out the sides and stuff, so... Okay, we want pump house power. Yes. We want you to receive. Now are you going to cut it down? There we go. Oh my goodness. Finally. Finally, finally, finally. Now these should... Good. They're both going over there. Good, 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 good. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's why I had those pipes there. That's for the logs. So, sapling, we need that. Um, oh, I don't know where that, what happened with that one. Where's those pipes? There we go. So, yeah, you have to put them on the bar there, guy. So, let's go out like here, like here. And then they're just going to fall because I don't have the pipe. Stone transport. No, we need cobblestone. So, throw you in there. It's just... Let's just tell this thing what it needs to do. So we want the apples to go into blue. And then the saplings through black. Yes. That's what we want them to do. So you come over here like so. You can stay in, in the party. And then you go back. Hey, 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 hey. You go into there. Now, I don't know how to make it say what's up and tell it to go into this, because maybe I have to keep this thing pumped full of hummus. Maybe that's what needs to happen. I think maybe that's, what's, that's what needs to happen. Okay, so he should go down into black, which he did. So I need to get one more pipe to connect there, because the stone isn't going to work. Look at that. Look at that. So you go right there. Yep. Ah. Oh. Hey. Not too shabby. So now what I'm going to do, one of the next things on my project tree is I want one of these. Uh, redstone. Redstone energy cells. I want to make one of these because this, to me, being able to just have it full, like charge it and, and all that stuff seems you know about as easy as those other those other things so to make that we need the frame and the frame is it's basically like a tesseract but with electrium and you need to make molten redstone and then I can basically once I get all this stuff situated it'll basic oh, oh hey 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 lock chamber it'll basically um, continue uh, I don't, I can't, I, mean, I lost my train of thought. Um, it, it works that way, except it doesn't need the signal. You just need one of them. There we go. Boom. There we go. You know, that was not too, too bad. So, all right, guys. Thanks for watching. It took a little bit of work to figure out what was going on with that logger. But now it's all situated. I hope that inspired you. I hope it gave you some ideas for your own. I'm sure that this was amateur hour for some of you who are just like, I don't know how to set that stuff up. Pasha! So, as always, we'll see you next time, and keep on Minecrafting. Minecraft. Hacha! I bow. I bow.
Thanks for the view. Sigma, like and subscribe. Sig Viber, Sig Vival, Sig Scriber. All day. Minecraft, need to be, need to be, need to be, need to be.